For Honor as a fighting game has a vast roster of characters with different quirks and themes, with all of them having a heavy and a light attack. In this video, I hope to teach you guys 4 tips on parrying lights more effectively. Tip number 1. Be confident. For Honor is a reaction based fighting game, with chances to start your own combo by parrying, deflecting, or dodge attacking. Without confidence, you will find every other tip in this guide to be a lot more difficult without it. Confidence comes from experience in this game, so don't feel discouraged if you're not as confident as your rep 120 teammate. If you struggle with parrying in general, you can set your dead zone on your controller or mouse to a smaller window to increase the sensitivity of switching stances. Tip number two, understanding your matchup. This is a double-edged sword. Knowing the enemy's moveset can help you gain the upper hand, but a player who knows your character will use their knowledge to attack accordingly. The ultimate rock, paper, scissors. Understanding your character can help see its potential and its moveset to further understand your matchup. Examples are, but not limited to, Shaman's Bleed Stab, John Yu's Unblockable Lights, Raider's Storming Tap, or Warmonger's Impale. Tip number three, patterns. Yes, I'm serious, stick with me here. A pattern is a repeating sequence, which everyone has, which also leads into video games. I'm gonna show a clip and I want you to try and find the pattern, specifically this shinobi here. Did you see it? He did it three separate times. It's a habit. It's a vulnerability. If the person you are fighting is good, after doing this once, they will switch up their directions or their attacks entirely to counter this. I'll just say some people like to attack left to right or right to left. Once you see it, uh, like it. <laughs> oh Tip number four, external parries. In a team fight or counter gank situation, you can keep the person you want to parry on your external block. This removes parrying the specific direction and lets you focus on the timing. You just need to click your parry button at the right time. You don't need to internalize all of this at once. If you struggle with parrying in general or are a new player to this game, taking these tips one at a time doesn't hurt. Just like a sport, you won't be perfect when you do it for the first time. It takes practice and experience to pull this off consistently. If you like this kind of content, please give this video a like and a subscribe. I appreciate you watching till the end of this video, as it takes effort making these kinds of videos. As always, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.